Right, so today I'm going to put uh, some tapping wire onto some of our triple bus bar poly po polycrystalline um, cells. They're about 17% efficiency. These are great cells. Um, the triple bus bar allows for greater current collection and that really is the reason why we're now seeing that there is a move into triple bus bar um, solar cells. Of course that means there's more soldering to do but I'm just going to try and solder a few of these together and then show you that it doesn't really make things that much more complicated. Let's see if we can just get this flux pen working. So there we go. Get some flux onto the into the bar itself so that it's ready to receive the tapping wire. Get the soldering iron, prime it just with a little bit of tin, and then basically get it started melting it down. So now that should have joined quite nicely. What I'll do here is sort of guide it. Go back a little bit here just to get it nice and straight. Yeah, reasonably straight. It's not the end of the world if it's not completely straight, but it is best to get it as straight as possible because otherwise you have a shading effect on the solar cell and shading is a big no-no. There we go, just run this nicely over the end. And as usual for the demonstration, I'm using the Antex HP80 that we also sell. It's a reasonably cheap soldering iron, but it benefits from a large tip which acts effectively as a large heat sink. And that large heat sink means that I'm able to get a continuous amount of power put down while the soldering iron regulates its own flow of power. Um, as you know, it's a simple on off thing here, but the tip irons out, tip irons, it irons out that variation quite nicely due to its mass. So here we go, I'm just going to prime these on the back side and put the tower wire onto the That's it, we've got a nice joint here. And that's it. One triple bus bar cell. Nicely joined up. It hasn't warped too much either. And um, that's pretty cool.